This is a VCS Preps post game extra. 45 28, the final score in the VCS Preps game of the week, presented by AAA Travel, but it was never that close. Danny Page with the Deuce Dareeds. Well, I think we're all a little bit surprised with the final result tonight. A dominant win for the Westlake Warriors. It really is. Their, their defense was just really outstanding. They, had, they held the St. Bonnetier to like a seven or eight, three and outs. St. Bonnetier could really not get anything going in the first half at all, except, except for that one 60 yard uh, touchdown run by Marcus Chambers. That, that was, was really it. it. I mean, what did you say? Three first downs through just about three quarters. I think it was a little bit less than that. Uh, you know, Ricky Town and St. Bonaventure, they just haven't clicked offensively all season long. What's wrong? Well, you know, we talked about before that they only threw six passes in the first half. I mean, that was just mind-boggling, and it was just, I don't know whether it's just that uh, they, Ricky Town couldn't find his uh, secondary receivers or what, but uh, he ran a lot more than we thought uh, that he would. Westlake, uh, we saw the game against Modern Day, who is a team they could face later on in the Pac-5 postseason. We saw them against Newberry Park uh, as well. Has this team demonstrated to you that they can be the first team outside of the Seraphs to win a Pac-5 playoff game from Ventura County? You know, when I saw the schedule, the, <clears throat> the one concern I thought was whether uh, Westlake, how they would hold up physically. Right. It, you know, when you got to week 7, 8, 9, 10, Boy, after seeing them tonight, they sure can. And uh, they are going to be a force, I think, in the playoffs. You win the Mamon League Championship, and you're going to get a really good draw, plus a first-round home game. I think they could uh, win a couple, two, three rounds, and who knows? I mean, they almost beat modern day. Absolutely, exactly. And, and they've only gotten stronger physically as the season has progressed. Boy, were they strong tonight. Let's check in on the highlights now, the Westlake Warrior football team. What a performance here on the game of the week. That's Shall see they're going to start on defense. And Jacob Bravo blasts that one into the end zone. We are underway on the VCS Preps Game of the Week presented by AAA Travel. Danny Page alongside former sports and preps editor of the Ventura County Star, the Deuce, Derry Eads. Play fake for town, looking to go downfield. Ricky throws it that way, and it's intercepted. Only his second pick of the year. Westlake returning it to the near side. And Clayton Woods tackled at the 20. There's a penalty flag down on the way back at the 37. Let's see what Henry does here on second and long. Throwing downfield for Baselia. He hauls it in. Touchdown, Westlake. We kind of thought that he might, that uh, Royal had a chance to make a difference. Henry's got a chance with no. Howard. Complete. Theo Howard makes the catch down to the 23-yard line. Another big play. We'll definitely add to that number next year. Here's an inside give to Jasmine. Jasmine's inside the five, and he's into the end zone. Tough running from the junior Jasmine. Yeah, I don't think they go down 21 nothing in uh, well, to bring this, this puppy back. It's a handoff to Jasmine. Jasmine's across midfield. What a play as he strides through the center of the park. Jasmine, 10-5 and into the end zone. Touchdown, West Lake Warriors. What a superb fake from Henry. Town hands to Chambers. Chambers is across the 50. 30, 20, a foot race, and he will win it. Touchdown, Seraphs, no flags on the play. They are back in business and within a pair of scores. Welcome back to the show, Mr. Chambers. And again, I, I'm not the one to make these calls, but just pointing out statistically how many times he's thrown the ball. Tanner G again on this punt return. G with a lot of room near side, needs one block and gets it. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Westlake. There are no flags on the play, but six more points on the board. Two first downs for St. Bonacher. Henry with that same handoff to Jasmine, and it works again. Look at him go as he moves across midfield. Running out of bounds at the 40-yard line. No icing, but will there be cake? Yes. 31-7, to a dominant opening half performance from the Westlake Warriors. Town hands off, and he stops short. 
No chance whatsoever. Big play by Quincy Bennett. How can you forget about Anthony Placencia? We can leave it. We might be back in the playoffs. Westlake is back in the end zone. He made the big defensive play on fourth down, and now he's into the end zone. Quincy Bennett, 37-7 Westlake leads St. Bonaventure. This is the Warriors' night. Henry rolls right, steps in the pocket, going way downfield. Baselli is open. He catches it into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. He looked back for the flag because he just shoved Liddell Atkins out of the way. At this point, it doesn't matter that much. Baselia scores the first big TD of the night, and he scores. I'm certainly a big fan of Sarah football, just like I am Westlake football. Ricky Town throws for Darius Vines. Touchdown, Seraphs. You. Actually, we've been practicing getting up earlier. Here's Ricky Town. For the cruise. <laughs> Sneaks in. He cruises in. You're on VCS Preps. Town rolling left on perhaps the final play. Throws to the end zone. Adkins catches it. Touchdown, St. Bonaventure. You put that through. And the Westlake Warriors win 45 to 28. A dominant W for Westlake as they top St. Bonaventure 45.